Detroit police also investigating at least two deadly shootings that happened this morning. Fox News' Ingrid Kelly spoke to the family of one of the victims. I'm covered. I got my Lysa. I got my Clorox bleach. I got my mask. And I got my tears. And my pain. A heartbroken sister risking her own safety during the COVID-19 crisis to see her brother, Nathan Gordy, who was fatally shot in the family's home on Stout Street during a home invasion Wednesday morning around 5 a.m. Police are looking for two suspects, one who was impersonating a cop. He told my mother he was DPD and he pushed her in the closet. My mother said somebody kicked in her door and came up the stairs and shot my brother twice. I almost didn't come. But that's my brother. That was my only brother. I had to come. A few hours later, Detroit police responding to this location on Glenfield, where the body of a 45-year-old man was discovered with fatal gunshot wounds to his body. As Detroit police search for answers, this victim's family has questions. And the fact that we're supposed to be sheltering six feet away, what makes you come and kick somebody door in? I mean, did they think the police wasn't going to come? Despite these fatal shootings, Detroit police tell Fox 2, currently our overall violent crime is 10%. We are down 3% from two weeks ago. We had an increase in non-fatal shootings for the same time period, but again, crime is still down. You know, the last 10 days or so, uh, the calls for service and crime have been down uh, dramatically, but the city is, is too violent. For now, this family just wants and justice. We just want justice. We want answers. We want to find out why. Why did you do this to him? You know? In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.